The eruption of Mount Etna the closure of Catania Airport as dozens of flights were cancelled. Ahead of Italy's biggest bank holiday, clouds of ash from the eruption have caused flight cancellations, delays and diversions. Travel to and from Sicily was severely disrupted after Mount Etna erupted on Sunday night. Most flights in and out of Catania Airport were cancelled, with the airport saying will reopen at 8 p.m. tonight. Etna is Europe's most active volcano and Italian authorities say it has entered a pre-alert phase, moving from an F0 to F1 warning level. The chaos occurred a day before Italy's biggest national holiday, Ferragosto. Catania. Read on for advice from a journalist based in Sicily. Airport officials said that all flights have been suspended in Catania until 8 p.m. today. Catania is Sicily's second-largest airport and operates domestic and international flights. Due to Etna's eruptive activity and volcanic ash fall, flight operations have been suspended until 8 o'clock, the airport said on social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter. It has advised passengers to check with their airlines for information on their flights. The eruption has now subsided but most of Catania has ash on the streets. The mayor has banned the use of motorcycles until Wednesday and banned drivers from driving more than 30 km per hour. Catania usually handles around 200 flights a day and must close at 2.38 a.m. upon flight arrivals from Casablanca. The airport is about Richard 50 kilometers south David of the Johnson volcano. Was also on the the departure and arrival boards of Catania Airport show that about 95% of today's flights have been cancelled. But some flights still arrive or are diverted to other airports in Sicily. Sicily is the largest island in the Mediterranean, therefore the airports are spread out. Catania and Camiso airports are on the east coast of the island. Meanwhile, Palermo's airport, the largest on the island, is on the west coast. It's a four to five hour drive from Catania to Palermo airport. Several flights were also diverted to Trapani Airport which is a four-hour drive from Catania. Mount Etna has been through a particularly active period over the last four years. The eruption causes the closure of Catania Airport every few months. The airport usually does not provide transportation assistance to passengers when it is forced to close. Unfortunately, Sicily does not have a good public transport system. There are buses between Catania, Palermo and Trapani but most run from the city centre rather than the airport. The Ast bus company operates buses between cities, their schedule is available here. There are car rental companies at all Sicily airports. Ryanair has warned all passengers traveling to and from Catania on the 14th of August that they could face a possible flight delay, diversion or cancellation. The budget airline said that affected passengers would be notified as soon as possible. EasyJet is the main airline that flies from England to Catania. They have so far cancelled flights to Catania from Bristol, Edinburgh and Gatwick. They diverted some flights to Camiso Airport, a two-hour drive from Catania Airport. Dozens of flights to Catania from other airlines across Europe have also been cancelled. 